I think that could be poor behavior, even yeah, if you that, had that good is, intent. No, that's gross. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little gross. It's a little gross. It's a little gross. But I think it's still more so like that's nasty. But other than that, I think it's just more how you're doing it. Like, no, how true. fast did you fuck those ten niggas? Because it is thirty days in a month. You so, had to fuck. You'd have to fuck. You'd have to fuck like three niggas a week. So two to three niggas. If a week. every that's two a lot days of for a month, she was fucking. A, a different, different nigga. nigga. That's a lot of nigga. But if she was using condoms, was clean and liked them, is she a hoe? <laughs> uh, is she just I think if you're a whore, you should life. be using condoms anyways. I think you should use condoms whether you're a whore or not. No, you're right. But I'm saying if you're fu- if you're a whore and you're just fucking everybody just because of the sake of it, you sh- should for sure be religiously using condoms. My question, though, is if she is using condoms already and she's taking breaks in between these people and she likes them, she's getting to know them, is she a hoe still? Ten, uh, you're getting to know and liking 10 niggas? Because you got to be talking to all them at the same time. I think you can. Niggas do it. Huh? And they're whores. Uh, yeah, if a nigga fucks 10 bitches in a month, he's a whore to me. That's a lot of bitches to fucking month, and that's a lot of time. That's another thing. It's a lot of time, dedication, and that's the other thing that grosses me out is why are you putting so much time? That's why I don't got no hoes. I don't have time. Yeah, you do, like you shouldn't be putting that much time into females. That's way too much time and energy. So your priorities are fucked. Niggas up. with the most hoes, niggas. I ain't got shit to do. I ain't got no job. I ain't got no money, ain't got shit going on. Every fucking bitch. Like when I was 19, shit, I wasn't doing shit. That's what I was just gonna say. Is yeah, I had a lot of bitches. That's activities when you was 18, 19. There's a lot of stuff that makes whores whores. Bitches just be hoes. Like just in general. Yeah. Like generally. Just. What does that mean? How can you generally be a hoe? Can, yeah, can. How can you generally be a hoe? What does that mean? It's a lot of bitches that are just genuinely hoes. As soon as they see a nigga, that's what they just wanna fuck. It, there's a lot of things that can be hoes. Bitches that just be wanting to fuck off a certain shit. Just like. It's bitches that fuck niggas off the clothes on their body or. Like. A bitch can see a nigga that they think look good, but if he's bummy, won't fuck him. But it'll be the exact same looking nigga with some nice clothes on, some jewelry, a nice car, and then they'll fuck him. I think that's a hoe. Because you're not even really fucking the person off of who they are, getting to know them. Just fucking be fucking Is that like. Oh, having low standards. That's not ha- that's that's ha- that's being a hoe. That's not even a standard. Okay, <laughs> question. You don't even know the man. How are you judging him? What if he just went to the grocery store that day? He just threw on some shit. You're right. You don't question. know that nigga. You're a hoe. So if if you meet a guy right, and you vibe with him, like let's say you you go on a date, mm-hmm. you vibe with him. Now you should fuck it, him. No, I'm saying, is it? Should you? Is it whore behavior if you happen to fuck someone the same night? The same night, no. because it's like only it happens. Not saying you fuck every nigga the same night, but if you fuck somebody the same night and y'all are vibing, y'all are. You know what? That don't make you a hoe, but it depends on the situation. Like it's, it's I think it's a different situation, and that's how hoes becoming hoes without even trying to be hoes. That same dumbass shit. They think a nigga like them. Take them out, have a good time, talk to them for a little bit. Like, ooh, he likes me. And then bust their coochie open. Now you got hit. And now that nigga's gone. The next nigga does it. The next nigga does it. And that's how that's bitches not, ended like, that's up. Not, that, that doesn't make someone a hoe by trying to date. That and then people not being available. Sit the fuck, calm down. If, if, if I'm a nigga, right, and I'm actually trying to find a bitch to be with forever type shit, and then the first bitch I meet, that same night I fuck her, and she leaves me, the next bitch I meet, same shit happens. By the sec- after the second one, I'm like, all right, let me relax because this is a trend that keeps happening, and maybe I should calm my hot pussy ass now instead of just giving everybody coochie on the first night because they seem to be leaving. But y'all don't stop. Y'all keep going and going, and then you look up one day, damn, you're gonna fuck Who's ten y'all? niggas in a month. That's how I end up fucking three niggas in one week, going on dates and shit, sucking dick. I never suck dick. And that's just my nigga. And that's I'm why you can't get a nigga who don't like, suck dick. No, I'm saying I, I I don't suck dick on the first night. Like I don't suck dick. Oh, you're fucking the first night, but you don't. And I'm I'm not saying I have. I'm not saying I fuck every nigga on the first night, but I have fucked on the first night. But I've never had a nigga just 
fuck me and then leave. Except for that one situation with the gay nigga, but I ended up fucking with him again. And we talk. I gotta stop saying that out loud. But (laughs) (laughs) he gotta find a different name for the nigga. (laughs) Not the gay nigga. (laughs) That's his name, though. But I don't know. I just feel like if if it's a vibe, like you don't do it with every nigga. But if it happens to happen, I think you can tell a hoe. They say I. I'm not gonna say every girl on Facebook on Instagram be hoes, but all the bitches that has made a too loud challenge hoes. The bitches that be on the bitches that okay, (laughs) the bitches that be on (laughs) status is like get more into the big dick niggas and the big dick niggas only hoes. The bitches what does that, that really make a ho ho because I be seeing bitches in like, relationships say shit like that, but talking. they just be trying to be comedians. But, but I just got you. First of all, we're on a podcast, you got to get to the mic, we can hear you, but you know, they can't hear you. And then they they be like, it'd be situation. I think I'm a nigga and I've dealt with hoes for a long, long, long time, so I can tell. I'm not saying everybody that makes that status is a ho because obviously a lot of people do be joking and just be you know, be playing and shit. Mm-hmm. But you can tell the ones that are being hoes are doing it for attention or doing it just like a look at me and have niggas in their inbox and shit. Or ones that be posting their titties. Like, the kind of pictures you be posting. The bitches that be posting their ass and titties. I don't post my ass and but titties. I'm, I'm just saying, like, that do that all the time. What, okay, see, okay, but listen. And they're doing it to get attention to get niggas in their no, inbox. No, no. And if, if 20 niggas are inboxing you a day, you're going to fold for somebody. Listen, first of all, Cause you just came at me. What I post, the reason why I, I don't post a lot of pictures. I post mostly TikToks. And the reason why I post TikToks is because I want to get attention on TikTok because I want to get famous on TikTok. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. And I want to get attention, period. And I want y'all to see me. And I want y'all to know me. And I'm not going out of style. So y'all can keep seeing this sexy ass girl on your timeline. If you want to message me, you message me. If you don't, I ignore hella niggas okay, a day. Okay, game. Huh? Hey, I love her. The dog's on top. <laughs> I'm just saying, if just because a whole bunch of niggas doesn't mean now, do I have I responded to some niggas before? Yes. Have I in the past month new niggas that has messaged me on on my shit? I talked to one nigga that messaged me on my shit. Fuck all that. In the past month, how many different dicks have you done? One. Since since March 18th, you've done you. one dick? Yes. How about you? Before that, I wasn't mm. fucking nobody. Huh? None. No one's dick has been inside. Oh, yeah. That's what you have to talk. None. No one's dick has been inside me in a very long time, in like multiple months. Oh. Okay, maybe you guys aren't hold. I never said y'all was hold. How many about. people have you had sex with in the last month? I want to say none, but I think one. But maybe none. Maybe one. Let's just go with one. I got offered some sex last week. I didn't take it. Because there was no way that was going to end up good for me. Mm-hmm. You want to hear the story? I'll tell you the story. Yeah. I went to the club, and then I went to the little after party. No. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to the after set. And it was closed. Nobody was there yet. Or I guess they went to the wrong place. I don't fucking know. But either way, it's connected to a restaurant. So I went to the back. I went to the bathroom. Came back out. So people was pulling up. This girl was all on me. But it was the same girl from earlier that came up to me and was like, hey, my friend wanted to talk to you. She thinks you're really cute, da da. I was like, okay, so why are your friend going to talk to me? And she was like, oh, because she sounded like, oh, I don't talk to shy bitches. And I didn't hear from them after that. And I seen her and she was alarming me. I was like, oh, I thought your friend wanted me. She's like, oh, no, blah, blah, blah. And then she, whatever, cool. And then she was like, oh, I need to use the bathroom, blah, blah. I was like, oh, it's the bathroom in the back. I was like, oh, she's like, oh, can you take me? And I was like, all right, yeah, cool. I showed her where the bathroom was. And she was like trying to pull me in the bathroom and shit. And I said, no. Was she ugly? She wasn't. Uh, I don't actually, I don't even remember what the bitch looked like, to be honest. I just remember thinking. I'm better than this. But it was so stupid how I was Gross. thinking it in my head. I think a different version of me would have went all for it. That's good. But I was like, you know what? No. I'm not going to do that. That's good. But it was funny how I was thinking of it. I felt like I was like a a character in a movie. 
the way I was talking to myself. It was so fucking stupid. But I was what drunk you, as fuck. What were you saying to yourself? Stupid. Just being stupid. I don't remember exactly, but I remember it was I so fucking funny. I would love to be funny. in your head. I feel like it would be so funny. It's so dark. Boom. Ho. Because you don't know me. You don't know my name. You don't know shit about me. Why are you trying to fuck me in the bathroom? No, that's true. You're right. But she's probably drunk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's Can true. you imagine how many niggas she done fucked in the bathroom? Yeah, that's true. I get that. But see, my thing is, what I like to do is I like, this is this is my re- repeating cycle, is I find a nigga that I like, right? And I'll fuck with him for like a whole year, maybe even longer sometimes, and I'll only fuck him. And you know this. I only fuck that one person. I'll be so invested in that one person. Even if we're not in a relationship, I'll be totally loyal to that person. And then Some I go on to the, the next things person. You say are so contradicting all the time. How? When I was with when I was with dude, I'm not saying like the amount of people you're fucking or nothing. Sometimes you'll be like, I don't fuck with these niggas. I just fuck them and make yeah. them leave and and you know don't want right to deal with them at all. And then sometimes you say stuff I like this. Wait, like, when, no, 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 hold on. When I when listen, listen. When I was fucking with the last person, you know, the last person I was fucking with, heavy. When I was fucking with him, that entire time that I knew you up until a few months ago. Was I not only from last year when I first got flued out? Okay, I'm not when accusing y'all you. I had to talk to each other. Sorry. Keep it in front of my yeah. When I'm I when I got flued out all the way last year in last Christmas, all the way until last what, fucking October or some what shit. I was fucking is, with him the okay, whole what time. She's I'm saying, not accusing you of fucking with multiple people. I was just saying sometimes you say like you may be only fucking with one person, but you'll also say, I don't really like this person. I'm just fucking them. I just want consistent dick and somebody to hang out with sometimes. But right now as you're talking, you're saying I'm just so invested in them and all for them as if it's the opposite of I'm just looking for consistent dick and someone to hang out with sometimes. That's all I was saying. And sometimes you're very contradicting in how you're dealing with with these people. I think, gotcha I think there. if I'm contradicting, it's because I'm in two different versions. When I was with, when I was fucking Sometimes with him. Sometimes we're talking about the same person. <laughs> no, when I, when I, but I was, see, you got to understand that I was on and off. You got to understand he, we went through a lot of shit. First he was fucking with his ex. I'm not and even then talking was, about him though. I'm just talking. Well, I'm talking general. about, but listen, I'm talking about that period, that, that period of time. That's what I do. So that period that of time, period time is when you're, t- is what you're talking about now about being invested in all that stuff. That's what I'm talking about. And then about. the period of time after that till now. And then after now, that, it's kind of, I got my heart hurt. That's the, that hurt. Ooh, broken heart. So now it's kind of like, bro, you I'm into not. a savage. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that sounds like a hoe. <laughs> But now, yes, I'm I'm on that like, bro. I don't want to put my time into somebody like that again because I've done that before. Before that, I was fucking with somebody for like two years, and I really fucked with him, and I was loyal to that person, and the nigga didn't want to be with me, so I'm not about to fucking do that shit again. I did that Who twice in a person? row. Not nobody that you know. It was before I even met you, but I'm not doing that shit again. Like the next person, they didn't want to be with me. And da, 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 da. maybe there's something wrong with me. I I can admit that, but I'm not about to keep going to the same cycle. So yes, if you're saying I'm contradicting right now, probably. Since you can admit that, what is wrong with you then? Because bitches always say I can admit what's wrong with me, but they never know what's wrong with I'm them. I'm very nonchalant. I don't talk about my feelings. I don't put out as much effort. I don't want to be used, so I detached very easily. I'm not very that loving. That makes a nigga not want to be with you. I'm How just many niggas you know want to talk about their feelings? Well, I mean, I see bitches who, like, are all over their nigga and, like, texting them all day. Like, I'm not a good responder. I'm not a good texter. I'm not a good, like, blah, 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 whatever. Like, I don't communicate very well. And that's what you need to have a good, healthy relationship, right? And that's not something that's my strong suit. Depending on the person, I guess. I accept that. I, I be expecting a nigga to be all over me. And if he's not, then I it's like whatever. Okay, like I'm about to move on next. But I need to get better with that, so I'm gonna try to get better with that. But I'm not gonna get used for another year or so just to waste my time. I'm getting older. You feel oh me? God, that's true. What's up with you, bitches? I am. Do you expect to be like married by now or something? My friend's getting married this this uh, no, August. My best friend just got engaged. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like people are getting married around me and shit. Like, I don't really care about that though. I like, don't want to get like married. Not like having a, a time clock on myself. I don't care about that. I mean, if 
What were you saying? Mm-hmm. The what's your pattern? You get a nigga, you fuck with him for oh, a yeah, long time. Oh, yeah, my pattern. Really yeah, that's my pattern. It's like I will fuck with a nigga for a long time. I'll be heavy invested. I'll be loyal, even if when we're not in a relationship. And then I and then we'll st- I'll stop fucking with him because it's like I see you're not going to do anything. So let me just stop fucking with you. Then I'll find another nigga to do the same repeated pattern. And it's just an evil cycle. Like, I'm not going to keep doing that. That's stupid. You feel me? If you're not going to be dedicated to me or try to be, you know, then what are we doing okay well since we were talking about this this is how we started the conversation what's your body count to be honest with you i don't know and i don't mean that in a high what's your body count eight huh eight is that a high number so when niggas have you have you had like niggas that you're talking to ask you that i hate when niggas ask that because okay because after the Go on. Oh, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. No, go on. Well, because, you know, after, because I was literally on Clubhouse, maybe, I don't know, whenever, like, that was like last week, weekend? No, that was two weekends ago. And the bitch was on there talking about it, and she was talking about, like, she was with this nigga for, like, a couple years, right? And ever since the whole Dirk thing, you know, Dirk talking about the body count with his girl, and everybody been talking about that, the nigga went and asked her, she got mad, because she was like, all these niggas eating dick want to be like Dirk and shit. When I've been with this nigga for the longest, he ain't never asked me about my fucking body count. Now he want to ask me about my fucking body count. And she was kind of peeved off. And I was wondering if bitches actually get mad when niggas ask their body count. Because I, I really don't think it fucking matters. I don't either. It doesn't fucking matter how many people I have sex with. It's about how I'm having sex with people. And, like, you know, like, it's just about how you're carrying yourself. And maybe the people I'm having sex with, but how many, it doesn't fucking matter. If it's outside of you, it doesn't It doesn't matter. And it doesn't but what if it matters attention. to him? It could matter to him, but you're already in a vested relationship, so that's what I'd be irritating. But if you're already talking and you come off like the kind of person I want to be with, it, this is my expectation, you can't be mad at somebody wanting what they want. That's like me being mad at a nigga saying, like, I can't be with you for real because you have a kid. Like, I can't be mad at that. Some people don't want that, you know? So I can't be mad at a nigga saying, like, oh, I can't be with you. I want my bitch to be a virgin or whatever the fuck the niggas be looking They want for. you to be experienced with having sex and be a freak. But then not have any experience and not fucking baby. Okay, let me break this down That's for you not really quick. True, yes, it is. let me break this down for you. I'm 26. This is this is my thing. This these are stupid ass questions that you ask when you're like 19, 20 years old. I'm 26 years old. I did I did this math in my head like yesterday or today when you said that. Uh, I started having sex when I was 18. That's when I lost my virginity. Nobody believes it, but I swear to God, my daughter is true. So because <laughs> nobody ever believes it for some reason. Okay. Y'all, everybody wants to say like, oh, it ha- your body count has to be under 10. Da, 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 da. Bro, first of all, let's say that's 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. That's nine, nine years. years. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nine years, okay? Let's say I fuck two niggas a year. 18, man. That's 18. God damn, that's you're eight. in college. <laughs> <laughs> that's 18, eight, 18 niggas. That sounds like a lot. But if you think about it, that's two niggas a year. Now, me personally, I was in a long distance relationship. I mean, not long distance. I was in a long term relationship from, you know, my baby dad. Then, like, I had short little two year doings or whatever. But I'm just saying, let's say you're a single female and you fuck two niggas a year. Two niggas a year, one nigga every six months. Is that really that much? I but think it, it really. 18 niggas. I think it doesn't matter at all, honestly, because one, you're never going to get the truth out of a bitch. Like, whatever her body kind of, she's going to drop hella numbers. Because no, first of all, That's bitches, not true, because I swear to God. Bitches be life, lying I'm about. I'm not saying you're truth. lying. I'm just saying a lot of bitches I don't think do people lie. be lying. I, I don't think bitches yeah, do a lot lie. of bitches I think they do, be do but I think people are telling the truth. No, that's not what I'm talking about right now, because someone keeps, like, if someone looks in my face and tells me I'm lying, going to piss me off. No, I'm not telling, I'm not saying you're lying. Because I. Bitches be lying. I believe you because you've been in a relationship for a long, long time. Longer than than most bitches. I'm just saying most bitches do be lying. They, if, I'm telling you. If a bitch you. say 18, I'm just going to go with 27 in my head. Because you bitches be skipping the dicks they suck. Yeah. Bitches be acting like they forgot some niggas. Bitches be like, oh, this one didn't or count. Or they fucked them with a condom, did not count them, or like. It be random shit. And I don't even, I don't really care. As long as you ain't fuck nobody I know personally, like, no, no. Because I'm not going to cuff no bitch that, like, my friend fuck. That's insane to me. Or if you get trains ran on you, or like, you just doing some hoe ass But nobody, no bitch is going to say that. You never gonna know these things. I so mean, but you could find out. And at yeah. this age, everybody's a hoe. You just gotta pick a hoe and just be cool with it. A lot of people said that India was lying to him. I don't think she was lying to him. That's crazy. So she's only had sex with her baby dads. 
That's the only people I don't she's ever it. had sex with. I'm not and then she believe. has two other little viral relationships with niggas that are dead that she was also. She only has one with. baby. So she, she said she had two bodies before him. She has one baby by another person or her other killer with dirt. Uh, I thought she had two kids. No, just one daughter. She could not be lying. I don't think, she, I don't know. I don't say she is or not. Two is crazy, but she could be telling the truth. I can't sit here and say, I'll be so no, mad if I told somebody. Believe, and no yeah. one believe me. I can't. So I'm like, Life I can't. Life wouldn't believe that. your body kind of lie. People wouldn't believe that you only had sex when you were 18. That's the first time you had sex. So, I mean, things could be true. There's virgins out here still. Bitches not. I know what I was going to say, though, I think it's unrealistic for <laughs> niggas to want a girl with a low body count or nobody or whatever because niggas just want to fuck and don't want a relationship. So if she's not fucking, she's probably going to want a relationship or something. So why is this the bitch that you're seeking out? I think a lot of I think a lot of niggas the same way. The same way bitches don't be wanting to fuck um, niggas because they fucked a lot of niggas. I mean, fuck a lot of bitches or it's because they uh. Got hella baby moms. Or they feel like, yeah, he got baby moms, or they feel like they're going to play them and blah, blah, shit like that. I think a nigga feels the same way about bitches, and um, body counts is a good way to gauge it for most niggas. It's like, if she hasn't fucked a lot of niggas, then maybe she's not a hoe. Maybe I could take this girl seriously. Because niggas, y'all say niggas just be trying to fuck, and they just be fucking. That's because they know y'all be fucking, and y'all be hoes, and this and that. And so they're not going to take you seriously. Some niggas, that's like a base point. Like, if they meet a girl, and she only has sex with one nigga, they might, oh, well, I could probably, like, this could be my bitch if I end up liking her. Some niggas don't like a bitch, but she's a hoe, so they don't fucking let us fuck her. You never met a cool hoe? A nigga that fucks a lot of bitches, but he's cool, so he just, like... Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you meet a hoe and you like her, but you can't cover. Some niggas do now, because, I mean, trouble times out here. And you were getting mad, like, you are saying that's... Well, I don't think that's the main thing he likes about her. That's like the first thing he's he, he listed. She don't cheat. The number of body counts. Like I, the amount I mean, of people I had sex with is not for a, important. The amount of people I had sex with is not for a nigga at all. It's not even intentional. It's just so happened I haven't had sex with a lot exactly. Of so it just so happened that the girl he likes doesn't but fuck a lot I'm of bitches. But I'm just saying that if I'm with somebody and that's like his favorite thing about me, that would like piss me off. That's not like, his stop favorite thing. That. But that's stop saying that. Like I'm funny. I'm cute. I, like. I, so many other fucking things about me. I'm smart and shit. Like, but you don't want to talk about those things. I help you out with stuff. He remember, said that like, a lot. That? I don't know. He said, yeah, but he I don't said know. this thing one time, and everybody's been running. Like he he's said, never talked about her before. He said like five that, different things that just all went to her sex with other people. Like I don't know. To me, it was just like a big part would, of it. And I why think would you not think that's important though? Oh, what for for you to have ten baby moms? Like I don't know. Like, but that's like a bitch who's a hoe. Wanting and the top of the line nigga like that's what all these up. hoes want. It, it that's fucking insane. You just it, said that. You never seen a Okay, but but the thing is when you're saying that's what all these hoes want, I'm speaking for me and what I want and other people. So I'm just saying that doesn't make sense to me and I'm not a hoe. So what I want I feel like is obtainable and there's no reason why someone should tell me like I don't think you deserve that or you shouldn't want that that doesn't add up to what you have as far so as how people he? carry themselves sexually because that's not how you carry yourself sexually, but that's fine. That's not the point. All I'm just so saying is if, so if me personally, I don't want my favorite my nigga favorite thing about me is like, Oh, this bitch didn't fuck everybody. That's your I don't think that's his favorite thing. thing, but that's a big bonus because you could really like a girl. And be fucking with her. Like, if you're, you say it's not important, but it, for most niggas, if you're dealing with a bitch, right, and you like her, or whatever, right, and y'all vibing, it's been like a month or something, and it's cool, and then you find out she fucks this nigga, she fucks your homie, she fucks your brother, she fucked this nigga, she fucked this nigga, how you gonna feel versus you finding out, oh, the same bitch hasn't fucked anybody. She's only fucked one or two niggas in her life. Like, that changes your perception on her drastically, no matter how much you liked her or not. And I think it goes both ways. I mean, I think I understand because it could be equivalent to like if a nigga has no baby moms versus having like three, four, five baby moms. I look at a nigga different. If you fucked up that many times, you got this many people pregnant. You could apply exactly. that to that. If you if you meet a if you meet a nigga and y'all cool and shit, and you find out he has eight different kids by eight different baby moms, you're gonna look. You're gonna different. start thinking like, unless you're just a dumb bitch, you're just gonna be like, like, am, is he gonna do this to me now? Yeah. Am I next? Am I gonna be part of his cycle? Like, you start thinking about shit like that. I think niggas think the same way. Like, is she just going to be a hoe and cheat on me? Is she going to go fuck other niggas? Da, da. So I think that's what the body count thing comes from. Because I hate niggas that have kids. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, if you have one kid, I can deal with it. But, like, if you have more than one kid, especially with different baby moms, I'm probably not going to take you serious. So if a nigga sees that you got, like, 20, 50 bodies, he's probably not. He's going to look at you different. So I can see 
I can understand. But also, y'all got to get out. Like, you can tell a hole between somebody who's just, I'm single, I have dated, I have had years where I did this, years where I did this, blah, blah, blah. But actually being a whore, I think is like, diff- like if I'm sucking two dicks at a time and getting trained on and getting nutted by three people in the face, like I think that's whoredom. You feel me? But if you're dating and you're, you know, it's different levels. Am I wrong? Or Okay, let me ask you this then. In that same situation, right? What if you're in a long-term relationship with a person? Because I think what you guys said at first was correct. I don't think it's the action. I think it's the intent. Because you just talked about doing multiple dicks and getting nut on by three niggas. What if the same girl is doing that but she's in a 10-year relationship with her nigga? And that's what they like to do. Yeah, I was just going to say, so I don't think any of that whore, stuff right? makes somebody a hoe. The stuff you do during sex, I, I don't think that makes you a hoe. It's just what you're doing. So if you're doing that in sex with five different niggas in the same week, you don't know none of them, you're never going to talk to them again. That's being a hoe. That's but what just I'm talking about. Having that act is not making you a hoe. If you have, listen, on the No Jumper show, that girl, uh, her name's like uh, Ale- Eliza, she said she got the whole uh, basketball team of like 12 niggas she sucked them all off and had them nut all on her stomach and all on her face and well, on that, her that's mouth. A hoe. But that's I'm what saying, I'm saying. But if the same bitch was just with her one nigga and had him nut yeah, if all, y'all, okay, all if on her face, all on her mouth, that's not. First of all, I never heard no female have that happened before. Like, that's not even realistic. Like, you think a nigga's going to let his bitch get 10 niggas nut on her? I said by one person, not by 10. Oh, <laughs> you mean just by him? Yeah. Are you or whatever the fuck? I don't no, know. No, I mean by and like I several think that's niggas. That's true too. I think some niggas will fuck a bitch and she do something, I have sex a certain way, and they're like, oh, she's a hoe. And that's like, that's not nice. You can, yeah. No, I, I mean, mean by that's several not niggas. Nice. If, hold on. If I'm fucking you, right? My dick just falls in there. I'm already thinking, like, okay. okay uh, and then, and then if I'm like. Stigma is false, by the way. Not false. Stigma. So not false. And then Stigma. if I'm like, you know, sometimes you get nasty, you want to put a finger in a butt. And my finger just and your butthole's like hi, I'm here and it's wide open, ready like all right. A lot of things have been in your butt. When you have a baby, sometimes you get hemorrhoids and sometimes it gets looser though. Just okay. saying. I, I I think I personally I know a hoe from not a hoe. And I know somebody teetering on hoes. Okay, homeless. those two things maybe I guess that but other things like how someone has sex, you can't determine somebody is, is a hoe from that. Or how you kiss. What or if you're something super like that? sexually experienced? You don't just get super sexually experienced overnight. From, you could do if that with have one boyfriend. You do. If you could do that freaky as one boyfriend. Yeah, that's true. You could do that from having one boyfriend. I don't think being freaky makes you hoe at all. I don't think that's true. I think it's I think it's all about intent. You got it right. It's all about it's about a bitch mindset. Some bitches turn into hoes accidentally, or they get I don't want to say hoes. They get high body counts accidentally being optimistic, dating niggas, thinking a nigga likes them. having sex with nobody. Either. Letting them fuck, I'll and then they leave. Fucking damn. And, it's, and I'm just, I'm, I'll be so fucking damn. I think I'm actually really too mean to niggas, and if I ever want to get some dick, I just have a nigga to talk to sometimes. <laughs> I have to be nicer, but they really be pissing me off. Yeah, you're not very nice. They really be pissing I am. I'm super nice. I'm really nice. I'm really fucking sweet. Sometimes just, they're a little mean. I you just, are really nice, but I sometimes. just don't like niggas who... Like overplay like part. I like too. trying to trick me. I don't like like you don't have to try to trick me. Just be yourself. Yeah, and I hate that I shit. I'll trick myself. I'll start lying to myself if I like you. But like, yeah. <laughs> don't do like I don't like feeling tricked. Like you know, like just let me choose for myself. Or like, there's this nigga. He was texting me, and like he, we don't even really be talking. But like sometimes we do be talking. Like we don't know each other. Whatever, fine. But then he'll always like try to have these conversations with me as if like we really fuck with each other. Or he knows me, and it pisses me off because it's not flattering to me. It doesn't make me feel like you like me. It feels like you're trying to make me feel like you like me so I can give you some pussy. And that is like you're trying to fucking trick me, bitch. When I said that to you, you said I was lying. About what? When I told you the exact same situation was happening to me, you said, "Oh no, you must be doing shit with this bitch or making this bitch like you or." No, bitches just be people just be saying shit like like they know you like y'all together or something. It's so fucking weird. Like, why are you doing that? Yeah. And you'll be like, no, nah, you know her. You did this with her. You took her out. You did this. You be laid up with her. You do everything with her. No, I don't do shit with this bitch. This bitch is weird. Bitches be this weird. Is different, that's different. Because she called different. me. She called wait, me. Wait, hold up, hold up. She wait, called wait, me. Hold. That's different. Rewind, I wait, can what? never. I will never ever Turn believe. I will never believe. I don't think Why'd bitches. Why she call you? I don't. 
fucking how did she get your number? Fucking crazy. Fucking hot she doesn't have her car on Facebook. Me on Turn Facebook your mouth. Twice man. in the middle of the night, and this is when my speaker was really broke, so you couldn't hear. So I'm just hearing her talk, and she's going on and telling me that I'll never be the main bitch. I'm like, bitch, it's not me. I Wait, you'll never bitch. be the main yes, bitch. I'm like, I'm not the bitch you're talking about. I'm not even a bitch. I'm not the bitch. I'm not the bitch you're looking for. I don't even know why you think this. I would have cussed her the fuck I, out. I, I couldn't, but I wouldn't. I'm not. I wouldn't, and I. That's one thing I don't do. I don't argue with bitches over niggas and never a, a nigga that a bitch if you have to call me a bitch is calling me bitch if you everything I'm gonna get riled up <laughs> fuck you I don't argue with bitches I might argue with a nigga I might talk to her and be nice and then call him if I was mad I gave a fuck but like I'm not arguing with no bitch ever under any circumstance but in that situation I 100% believe you're fucking right because for one she fucking wow. called me two just like I, I, but you're nah. dealing with the same situation, so why no, you, that's different. He's not why? fucking calling people. That's him like doing because it because you ain't giving no coochie yet. Like, if you would have gave him some amazing ass coochie, and I think been he treating would him never, the same way you've been treating him, he would never talk to me again. At, once I fuck him, he's never gonna talk to no, me. No, niggas do be but doing some, some crazy. crazy I'm no, telling he, you, but I'm saying this isn't. He's not being crazy. Like, oh, I like you so much. He's, he's like being. He's trying. He's trying to, to get. Like, I he's get trying to get some pussy. And I once I give him something, he's never gonna talk to me again because the conversations are so short. And when I don't fall into like whatever shit he thinks is cute or. Fake and it's the opposite to with have, bitches. He like, Once you give him some dick, they're never going to gonna stop. Now they, they take it overboard. They do. It's bitches the whole, you get it's obsessed. A, it's the same weirdness, but you get niggas some cool shit, they fall off and disappear. You give a bitch some dick, they raise up their fucking weirdness even some more. Because bitches, do bitch bitches equivalent sex with emotions. That's why. That's sick. I, well, so Seek I think help. it depends on how you have sex. Heal, bitch. I think it depends on how you have sex because, so for one, sex is not something like, oh, I meet you, we fuck. It's supposed to be like, okay, I'm talking to you, I like you, I'm interested in you. That's Maybe this should go further. But not all the I'm do talking that. about for me personally. So for me personally, sex is something to like, okay, now let's do this now to the let's well, go longer. Like so now crazy we're fucking. Bitches. I am saying it depends on how you're having sex when she's talking about bitches equate feelings to sex and like being crazy and stuff. So if that's how you're having sex, like you're talking to crazy people, you're a dating person, you're getting to know someone, then you choose to have sex with them and you're doing all this and then like something happens and being crazy isn't okay, but like having like being emotional or whatever the fuck, that makes sense, right? But if you just go fuck somebody and you go home and you do this three times and then you're crazy, that doesn't make sense. But I can see other situations that's where you my feel point. invested in somebody and it makes sense, but you're I thought you were just saying just in general. If you're talking to a bitch for three months and then y'all fucking y'all are fucking and then you just stop talking to her. No, we're not talking to bitch for three yeah. months. No, I'm just saying, I'm throwing about? out a number, but I'm just being like, you know, like that would make more sense for someone to be upset. But it does, what but I'm saying is nothing happens besides sex. Let me tell you, females, this is uh, the scientific I think so. I saw it before. <laughs> when you when you when females have sex you release this dopamine or whatever the fuck that makes you have feelings for them. It doesn't matter if you were talking to them for four years. It doesn't matter if you had sex in five minutes. You release this type of serotonin or whatever that makes you long them. Niggas, so they have that same. you yourself again because is that true for you? I mean... I don't in some in some sense, yeah, but I but you gotta understand I just You're craving listen, the person as far as like I, their company, you no, no, like listen, them, I, I have a mental dis- sex. Listen, I disassociate. That's different. I can disassociate from any feelings. I think I, ever I think have. it's very situational. I think what you're saying is I don't know, but what I what I do know is that there are regular bitches, right? Who you can fuck, talk to, whatever the fuck. Stop talking to them, they don't be crazy, whatever, cool. Then there are people that like you maybe even more extreme well they'll do just like a nigga fuck you and never talk to you or only call you when they need some dick they have no emotion towards you doesn't want to fuck you no matter how good you fuck them they don't care about you they just want some dick when they need it and if it's not available they'll move on to the next nigga and then there are bitches on the far left spectrum who are fucking insane that you don't have to whine and dine them and talk to them and do all this shit for them to fuck to fucking act crazy strictly dick would just make them act crazy and it's not even like you're acting crazy. I think this bitch does it with all her niggas. I don't think it's me specifically. I don't think it's nothing about me. I think people just be fucking weird and bored. And I don't even know what the fuck be wrong with people. I think it's situation. I don't think it's... So what other things have to be included for you to feel like you're doing more than just fucking somebody? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't get it. So, 
someone could feel like you can hang out with somebody. Y'all hang out all day. Y'all go out to eat. Y'all have sex. Y'all go to movies and do stuff. And someone be like, we're just fucking. Some people would be like, oh, they're coming over and leaving. That's just fucking. Some people could be like. I think just fucking is literally what she just said. If you only hit me up at like 2, 1 in the morning to come no, over. No, I, I know what just fucking is. I'm saying what's considered more than just fucking because just because you're eating and going to movies and shit, that doesn't mean you're doing more than just fucking. I'm still just fucking. So like what's, what uh, makes something a thing for you? Like what things are included? Like, ah, uh, this is I think is that is the thing. Like if you're doing extracurricular activities with somebody besides yeah. fucking them, it doesn't mean like it's a, it's like if you're not if you're not telling the person like I like you so much I'm doing all this blah 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 if you're just hanging out and fucking I still think okay I guess I can see because if you're hanging out with me personally besides just fucking you're gonna like me like there's nothing not to like about me you know like you Aww. just like if you're hanging out with somebody you're not hanging out with somebody just for the fuck of it nigga you're hanging out with somebody because you like them or yeah. you like their company you like something about them if you're hanging out and eating and doing all this shit. You're damn near forming a bond. Whether Talking, you, yeah, deep talks. Whether like you say it or phone. not, you're damn near forming a bond with that person. So if then the person asks crazy, I guess, but I don't care for too long, I wasn't too hard. asking that, though. I was just asking, what things do you feel included to make it more than just fucking art? To make what, it, not even, to make it a serious thing. A serious thing. A serious thing. Not that's, a thing. That's, like that's a, a thing that a thing that you like trying to take serious. I guess. That it has to be more established. Like we're, we're Wait, exclusively you're saying dating. You're two different things. Is it serious or not? I'm saying, yeah, serious things, because like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what what things are included? Like, where you like, oh, this is serious. Just how you feel, or the third no, certain things. It has things to be communication. It's communication. It's we put because you can hang out with a nigga every single day. You can lay next to a nigga every single day, and you tell him, yo, what's up? You fucking with this other bitch? Oh no, nah, we not even dating. For niggas, it's different. For females, it's it's another thing. What I'm saying is, it's all communication. We have to establish, yo, we're exclusively dating. Where I'm not seeing nobody, you're not seeing nobody. It's all communication. So that's the only thing that makes something serious for niggas. Y- is once y'all say like, for uh, niggas, because n- like I said, a nigga can hang out with you every day and he still won't take you serious. He'll still fuck the, uh, n- the next bitch when you leave. For females, for it might be would different. Do that whether you're in a serious relationship or not. But I'm saying it cheating is another thing though. But I'm just saying if this nigga says, Yo, I want you to be loyal to me and I'm gonna be quote unquote loyal to you, that's what a serious thing is, right? Doesn't matter if he lies and cheats. Well, I think what you what you asked to be for it to be more than fucking, I think it's doing other things. So if you come over and we didn't fuck that day and we're just hanging out, now we're doing more than fucking because we're in each other's presence. And there's no sex involved. But that means it's a serious relationship? And that's not what she asked. She said, that's what is what she said? No, she the says, first question I asked is like, what, what's more than just fucking? And then I asked, what makes it something makes it serious? serious? Just because, just, just because so, it's a thing doesn't so mean it's a serious thing. Extracurricular you a activity thing that don't involve sex right. is more uh, than thing, fucking. Right. And that's now it's like a little thing. And for it to be serious, we'll be like, it's just us two in this thing, no outsiders. Communicating, communicating that word. But you can do that without together. communicating it. No. Like, like I was just in a seven yeah. year relationship yeah. and I, and I, I was just in a seven year relationship so. and I never had the conversation. You're my girlfriend. Like it just, yeah, I don't even think happened. people have that conversation anymore. It just happened. Like, so if he, grown. so y'all, I think it's like an understanding. Cause after, after a certain, a certain amount, amount of time, after yeah. a certain amount of time and a certain amount of things, like things happening, effort, it's like, just like, I start buying you shit. Like, all right, bitch, you can't be doing nothing else now. And then it's like the time you're spending and just like, I don't know, like just certain things start to change. Like, so for me, I started to feel like, damn, maybe I'm in a relationship when like the niggas start having clothes and shit at my house was dropping me off at work. Shit. You know, emergency contact with them. Did you ever talk to him about talking to other bitches? Um, so I mean with my baby dad it was like the only time I ever dealt with like a third party was like with his baby mom and I was like for a little bit then after that we never our arguments were never about bitches besides what, what we broke up over I think like once I try to go through his phone and seeing some shit I didn't like, but it wasn't even. Yeah, that's why I like. A bitch said good morning. He responded, and I was <laughs> so I was so mad. I said, "Bitch, you even tell me good morning. What the fuck?" But that's then we didn't argue over bitches. I really be wondering like how many times I get cheated on? Because obviously over seven years I had to get cheated on. I just wonder how many because I really don't know. Because up to me, I, to, I always man, know. I think we never fuck nobody. But that's how I want to feel. Though. I, I mean, I never know. cheat on nobody. In my that's life. how I want to feel though. Like I, I don't want to go to your phone. I also want to feel like my nigga wouldn't even talk to you, bitch. But I was so mad when I said that to a bitch and she sent me a screenshot. I said, you yeah, trifling that's, ass that's why I never. <laughs> you trifling ass nigga. That's why I never. Yeah, I would never say with my chest that my bitch because I mean it though. <laughs> because because but that's those. I want that reciprocated because I feel like anything that's fucking me could confidently say that like she wouldn't fuck you. She's not fucking you. Like you know, like could confidently say that. Depending on who they talking cap, to, unless I did. But 
if if it's like my nigga or my boyfriend, I'm a hundred percent not fucking about. But you. can you say that about him? That's I what I'm saying. The person I want to be with, yeah. I hope that's why we're together because I feel like that. No, what I'm saying like <laughs> that's why y'all together. That's what you like about him that he's not fucking nobody else. Um, not that he's not fucking nobody else. That he won't <laughs> fuck just anybody. And if he's with me, he's not fucking nobody else. Yeah, not the amount of people he fuck. If for me with niggas, it's just how you carry yourself. Who you, you said fucking. that before though that what? you wouldn't fuck a nigga who's fucked a lot of bitches. Mm. Not hmm. fucked a lot. I didn't say that. Yeah, not I fucked a lot of bitches. Exactly what you when said. I say a lot of bitches, I mean someone will just fuck anybody. That's what I mean yeah, by a lot of people. Like, just fuck bitches. anybody. Like, who have it's you not even, it's so not, it's not up to me. If you fucked 100 bad bitches, it's okay? Better than 100 bums? Not even not even 100 bums, because who is me? To, I, I I can't tell somebody who, who or what to think is attractive, right? Oh, I But can. to me... No, not even attractive. I just mean, like, a bum. Like, she's, like you know like a bum like you know what a bum no, is no i know what you mean so i'm saying like so to me when i say a lot of people like somebody who's just fucking anything and anything just because they want to fuck like that's what's nice to me if you're fucking people you want to fuck whether you think you're attractive I think or niggas, you like I them i think like every nigga cool. has that point in their life that i they think fuck everybody everything. does but at us like i think there's also grown men who can restrain themselves and not fuck anything just because they want to fuck or not like like the yeah, high standards this, or respect your body the point, same way you want a bitch who hasn't had sex with a lot of people you should as a man at least respect your enough to only have sex with people who you aren't gonna roll over and be like ick like you know are, are embarrassed for someone to say like you fuck like the, i don't care i don't know I, not I'm one cool nigga that hasn't done that yeah I'm not, I, got, I got a I lot of every nigga has that grave i know but you get older and you get Never more fucked her. i'm you know, saying that you should change out of that so right now no, i'm yeah. 25 so if i'm looking at a 25 year old person i see still just it's waking up and having these but you just said men mature later than women you gotta mature that's faster cool. so but that, give that's us fine like 30. The, the no, 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 but that doesn't mean that because men mature later let me look for somebody that's not what i want i don't want somebody who just fuck anybody i never want to be in a room with a bitch who like what talking about she f- f- my, what that's exactly how niggas what? feel then that's why they want a low body count exactly what you just got done saying so you just i don't feel it. like the number it's who a who number does matter because it's who for the, me the, like the, as far the more as the, the number the more of a chance niggas, that you'll be in a room with a bitch and nigga fuck i don't care about being in a room with the, with the, the room with the, the bitch i said it's a bitch that's just like what the fuck is that what the fuck is that not even her it could be her demeanor whatever the fuck it is like you fuck we're fucking the same person this is what you like that that would like make me feel i understand like that. it's not what you like it's what you fuck you exactly so way. you like i don't know if you don't respect your body you can't respect my body like that's mm-hmm. all not true we're it, two it, different bodies how if you are fucking anything and anybody whenever you want to <laughs> fuck how can you come In back your past, and fuck? I'm talking. Just, what if the man mature, like you said? And now what? I don't know if no one's not listening to what I'm saying. I understand that so, people so have to grow and mature. So, so I'm sure there's people who have had sex with people that they regret. So, but I'm saying as someone who's dating, I don't want to talk to someone who I feel like is still carrying themselves that way. Because if you don't so, respect so, yourself, so, you can't respect me. So if you're in a room with a dirty bum bitch that says she fucked your nigga, but it was 10 years ago, you still going to feel the same way? No, but if it was three months ago, I might feel some kind of way. And if it was, and if it's 15, 10 dirty broke bitches, that was 10 years ago, two years ago, three years ago, then it got a broke dirty bum bitch baby mama, and then a couple dirty broke bitch girlfriends, and then a couple, yeah, that's going to rub me the wrong way. Like, nigga, you fucking just anything. And then that means, like, you used to a certain kind of way. Like, how do you bitches like to be treated? Like, the kind of bitches a nigga will fuck with really determines how he's going to treat you or what he used to or how hard it's going to be for you to fucking get what you with, want. Not fuck. You got to stop putting those two things at the same table. I'm fucking, I'm talking about someone fucking with sometimes niggas fuck with ugly bitches or fuck with bitches who like a certain thing or carry themselves a certain way there's and not then that many bitches in the world i can say they fucked with me there might be a few that can say they fucked me but not there's probably like four three people that can say they fucked with me i think those are like two separate things so yeah he might have fucked a broke bitch not even knowing she was broke because he was just fucking th- i'm not even talking about being a broke bitch. okay so for me if i was someone that was talking to you and then i was looking at those three four bitches right and if they were bitches that were carried themselves a certain way and like certain shit and i know i didn't act like that either way y'all chat, like that's not no shit i like or how i act so what am i doing here right or if it was a bitch like you know like you just see like this isn't gonna work for me i'm not like that so i don't think this is what you gonna like you think you're better than those bitches not better I, I don't ever look at no one and be like I'm better than. It's, I it's, it's, clearly, what you're, that's what you're saying. No, I, I'm not better than. The, we're not the same. We're we're different. So I, I really, you I'm can't not have different. So are, are your niggas the same? Are niggas you dealt with are they the same personality type? You can't fuck not with different personality, personality type. Not personality type. Do they all have the like, same demeanor. Do they all carry themselves the same way. There's certain things about all the niggas that. Okay, I like what's that one the trait thing? that's consistent in the fucking last seven niggas you fucked with? Money. Oh my bad. 
get so money, for niggas. one, I can't say like the last seven niggas I fuck with because most of them were like I was a teen, Could, like a, like a little little girl doesn't like count. But most niggas I like, um, I really don't. I like like um, hood niggas. No, I'm talking about like tra- manly so, like, de- demeanor. Not even manly, leaders. like independent, like like, like 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 yeah, like. Any nigga I fuck with isn't a nigga that's always around a whole bunch of niggas or a whole bunch of people all the time. They're usually yeah. like by themselves. I like the one or two friends I really like. Like that. I feel like a nigga who's always up under another nigga or niggas or just a group of people all the time. You can't. So every nigga you fuck with had that trait in them. I mean, yeah. <laughs> since I'm like been single and as like an adult and like can see that, yeah. Bitches, no bitches be having like they be they, no. They I'm just saying like out of my eight people, there's only three people I fucked as a grown up. <laughs> so it was just like, I don't know. It's I don't three, I guess seventeen. When did you lose your virginity again? When I was in like seventh or eighth grade. How old is that? Like, like fourteen, thirteen. Uh, okay. So yeah, you as a kid don't count that. I don't even yeah, count. Yeah, like and I don't, don't know. Even count. Count. It's just like different yeah. shit, but that don't count. What I was saying though is just it's about it's not even that, it's just about like how they like like if you like a bitch that like to sit in the house all day, right? She likes to sit in the house. She don't get dressed up and do no shit like that. But I know I like to go out and get dressed and do shit. This fucking gonna work for you, a bitch that like to be out all the time. You can't, but that's so but that, stupid that, because, it, it, I'm because not you're gonna basing say that it right off away, of because you're basing that off of these one are weak bitch points. you met that okay, you these, fuck. These are weak you don't know points. about the other bitches you fuck I'm with. I'm talking about not fuck with. I'm just saying in general. These are weak points, but just in general, like how people like just the demeanor, how they have to be treated, Nick, and shit like that. that like yeah, that. I don't think for well for most niggas, I don't think none of that, none of those. Well, for myself, I ain't gonna speak for most niggas. Well, for most niggas, I don't think those are the kind of characteristics that follow throughout their bitches. They might have a bitch that goes out every weekend. They might have a bitch that sits in the house every weekend. And fuck with both of them. I think what matters is how a bitch. But we're like, talking I think that's a good again, thing to compare. But we're, but we're looking. At, we're talking about like the, the, uh, who people are fucking. So if the people you fuck with out of these four people, they're all homebody ass bitches, right? And I'm not a homebody ass bitch. I would think Wait, I might mm-hmm. try to fuck with you in the back of my head. I'm just thinking like this is probably gonna be a problem. I like to be out. This nigga obviously like bitches that be home. That's a trait. 